Hi everyone. The camera control in a Canvas app can be really, really useful for lots of different scenarios. For example, in this recent video, I highlighted how you could use the camera control when you were doing an on-site registration for a bookings appointment. But it can be a bit of a frustrating control as it's not immediately clear how you can control it with anything other than clicking on the control itself. So let's take a look at what I mean and how you can get around this. So here I've just got a little app where I've got a camera control called camera one on the app itself and when you select this control it updates a local variable called var photo with the photo property from the camera and then I've got an image over here which just draws its image from that var photo variable so let's just go ahead and take a photo so I'm gonna um, hold alt to activate my control and I'm going to click on my camera and you can see that I've got my um, I've got my image over here. And if I move around a little bit and do it again, I can change that image. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this control, which just resets my variable. I'm going to reset that. And you can see I've cleared that out. I don't have anything there. So let's just set uh, an image here. There we go. So I've got an image here and I'm just gonna turn this toggle on and you can see I've added a little button down here with that toggle. All this toggle is doing is changing the visibility of this button. And what this button does, if I look at the on select property, is it just does exactly the same thing as the camera control. So you can see the camera control just updates the var photo variable, the button just updates the var photo variable. So what you would expect when you activate this button is that this image over here changes. So let's go ahead and take a photo, nothing happens. Take a photo, nothing happens. Um, if I click the camera, there we go. Take a photo again, nothing happens. If I reset my app and then I use the take a photo button, yep, I do get a photo, but hang on a minute, let's, let's reset it, let's go over here. I'm gonna take a photo. Oh, no, that isn't actually the photo that I'm taking. So what's going on here? Well, the photo property of your camera control is updated when you click on the camera control. So you can see that happening there. And just resetting the variable that is driving this image isn't actually resetting that photo property at all. The photo property is still there. So when I update my, uh, my variable with camera1.photo, the photo property, all it's doing is taking the last photo property. It isn't doing anything else there which could be a little bit frustrating as it isn't the behavior that you would immediately expect, except when you do understand that the photo property is driven by clicking on the camera control, you get what's going on there. There also is no way to reset the camera control, so it isn't really recommended to drive this. You, you could put in here in the image, you could put camera1.photo, but then there would be no way of blanking out this image once you've taken your first picture. So I can go ahead and, and change that, but obviously my reset doesn't work anymore. Um, and I wouldn't be able to say reset camera one because camera one, a camera control is not a control that you can run the reset function on. So let's just get rid of that. So what do I need to do here? So if we take a look at our camera control, you can see that there's another property here called stream rate. And if we look at that by default, that's zero. And what this is, is if we're streaming our camera, the image that's on our camera, how often are we doing this? And the minimum is 100, which is one tenth of a second. So for some reason, when you change that, it kind of screws this up. So I'm gonna to need to, create a new screen, jump out of this screen, jump back into it again, um, and then my, my camera returns with my stream rate set to 100. And if instead of doing my uh, camera.1, my camera1.photo, I change this to stream, I can have more luck here. So let's just change this to my variable, var photo. 
and I'm going to go ahead and change this photo button to instead of updating the context variable with photo, I'm going to use stream. So now I'm going to go ahead and update and you can see that I now have control over my camera with this button because I'm using the stream property instead of the photo property. So that's really just a quick tip for you. Um, but I was working on a project today where I was using the camera control and I realized this is something that I find useful that I haven't made a video on. Um, so I thought I would make this video as this may be helpful to other people. If this has been useful to you, then please do give the video a like and consider subscribing to the channel so you can see the next time I release a video. In the comments below, I would love to hear the different uses that you've got for the camera control and whether having a button to control your camera as opposed to having to click on the camera image is useful to you in the context of the apps that you're building. I hope to see you back here next time. Until then, bye bye.